This is video C24, construct a yin-yang. Um, we're gonna need a large circle, I'll do my best. Again, it's a slippery surface. Let's see here. I'll mark my center point as such. All right. Not bad. I'll put that center point back in. So step one is to start with a circle. And what I'm going to do now is construct a diameter. I'll make it go up and down. And then what I need to do is to uh, find the midpoint um, from the center to there and from the center to there. I'll do that by doing the perpendicular bisector trick. So I'll go more than halfway. I'm just going to arc over here, arc over here, go to this point, arc over here, arc over here. I'll do the same over here. Oops. Arc over here. Arc over here. The same over here. Oh, I was way off. Okay. So I now have this point, this point, this point, this point. I can connect them. Connect them. So really what I was after was those points right there. Uh, so the drawing doesn't look so complicated. I'll erase some of my marks. Again, you've got to keep those intersections so we can check your work. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll construct um, a semicircle. I'll do it the same way as in your drawing. So this is the center. I'll go out like that. This is the center. Again, it's very slippery. It's easier with your compass. I'll go out like that. All right, so what I've got to do now is just create these little fish eyes, as they're called, or embryos. So just make two small circles. Again, this compass doesn't work with such small circles. I'll make a small one here as well. It'll be easier with your compass, trust me. Yeah, this does not really work. And then we can shade it. Uh, not the best, but uh, you could do much better. So the yin and the yang, two um, opposing forces that work together. Um, as they say, there is no shadow without the light. And there you have it, how to construct, construct a yin-yang with a compass and a straight edge.